Good morning, guys. So I'm going to take the time right now to kind of break down the lesson for the week. Okay, so today is April 20th. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. Okay, so I have automatically linked the this website to your Google Classroom. So whenever I post, and I also do it on Class Dojo too, it should take you directly to this link. Okay, so you're gonna scroll all the way down. Go to week five. This week we're focusing on solving problems involving multiplication and division. Now, you guys do remember that there's strategies that we have to follow to help us solve these problems, okay? So for step one, you're gonna watch this video and it's just an introduction of me, of the one that I'm doing right now, just kind of breaking down everything. And I've also included this video right here. In this video, which is good clear for a breakdown of the strategies that we use in class for multiplication and division problems. This breaks down those strategies. So the box method that we use to solve our problems, it breaks down that one and how we use that one. And it also breaks down the um, strategies for division, like uh, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? You guys remember that in class? So it kind of breaks down those. And so those are just basically more examples to kind of help guide you through this quiz and whatnot. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is your extra math. And like I said, that should take just about five minutes to do. And I'm checking that daily. And next you're gonna watch this video over multiplication and division. And again, these are just multiple, uh, just the word, the keywords that we use to help us um, solve these problems, okay? Like you're gonna run into just, you know, for example, if I say in all, you know, that you're gonna add those, right? Fewer, subtract and so forth, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm doing something different. Um, this uh for, for this week and this is really fun okay so you're gonna find your homeroom so i'm gonna go ahead and go to leave homework for this example and it takes me to a different site okay now all you have to do is find your name in this case i'm going to be my son peyton okay and i'm just, I'm just going to join and i'm ready to begin now you might want to turn this down a little bit just because like the volume for some reason is really high whenever you play this which is fine but Okay, so then I'm going to sit here and I'm going to ask myself, what keyword does average time I'm going to have to do? Multiplication? Oh no, I got that wrong. So I'm going to lose money. And if you notice, if you're, I automatically gave you twenty dollars, but you lose money. You lose um, money whenever you get it wrong. So but then you're going to look at the correct answer. It's division. Okay, you can continue. Double. I know that's multiplication. So then I get a dollar. So let me continue. How many are left? Uh, how many are left? And if you notice, the numbers kind of get higher, right? Fewer, subtraction. Okay, and then we're going to continue. Multiple, multiple numbers, multiplication. Now, if you notice this shop button, you're gonna click it, and you're gonna come upon these four little boxes. So this one is how much money you get per question, okay? So if you want to look, I want to look at the levels. You don't have enough money for that at all because you only got $29. So level two, I'm going to buy this because I have enough. So that means every question is going to be worth $5 now. Quotient, you know, that's division. That's what $7 now. Groups of, oh no, I got that one wrong. So I know that I'm, you know, it's multiplication. Okay, groups of multiplication, got it. Different subtraction, some addition, less, Subtraction, and I can shop again. Maybe I'm gonna do a streak. So every time I get two or more in a row, I'm gonna I'm gonna get twenty bucks for it. So I just bought that one, and then I keep going. Minus twenty five dollars. Subtraction, subtract, subtraction. Look at me, I'm just moving on up. Oh man, and then I lost money. It's okay. We're gonna keep going. Divide. Words ending with er. Hmm. Subtract fewer addition. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to my shop and I'm gonna multiply. This time, every time that I go, I'm gonna multiply them by one point five. I'm gonna go buy that one. I'm trying to get me some money here. Product of thirty eight dollars evenly. Okay. Total. Okay. And then the last one is just only like only pay half of it whenever you go. It it just depends on you what you want to do. Well, this one doesn't really matter. That means whenever you get it wrong, you're only gonna have to pay some of it back. Okay, and that's how you do it. Now, I did say your goal is 500, and you look up over here. It's gonna tell you where you're at to at that goal. But I've only said this for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, whatever you have is what you have. I'm not gonna count off for. I'm gonna give you credit for 
whatever you, um, I'm gonna give you credit for whatever you've done, okay? So then whenever you're finished, whenever you're finished, it will give you, um, when that 10 minutes time's up, you can just close the window, okay? And then you're going to go down here and you're gonna take this quiz. Now, if you read this at the very top, it says, show me how you got your answer and then email me a picture of your work to answers to Rocking Eagles 4 or Maria Lee. If I don't receive an email with how you got answers, you will receive an automatic F for the assignment. Thank you and good luck, guys. I know that you're doing the work because you're turning these quizzes in, but I don't know if you've done the work or if you're just using a calculator, if you're just guessing on it. So it's really important that you send me that work and email it to me because I will give you an F, a failing grade for that. And that means uh, you'll, it's just it's gonna hurt your chances of being able to go to fifth grade. So please show me your work, okay? And as always, go ahead and submit that, okay? When you're done, you submit that, we go. And then you're gonna do IXL, D12, E2, and E16. And guys, and that's just basically for the week. You don't have to finish all in one day. So um, if you have extra time on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can kind of do it as long as you get it done by Friday, okay? It's just extra help to help you get more practice with this um, division and multiplication, okay? Again, I have a sign-up sheet for you if you want to do more one-on-one -on -one with me. And if you notice, it says the time. Do not change the times, please. You can just do the um, student name. Just add your name and tell me if you want me to Zoom with you or you want me to call, uh, to call you. It's up to you, okay? And if these times don't work for you, let me know and I will be more than happy to work with you, okay? All right. So if you have any questions, please, please let me know. I am here for you through everything. And so I understand that division can get kind of a little confusing. But if you just follow those steps kind of step by step, I, think, I promise it'll be really, really, really easy for you. All right. Have fun. Bye.